Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back. We're playing some more UHS 3 here today. Episode number 10. We've actually made it such a long way into this, uh, this first world of ours. Pretty proud of what we've done. You've been probably noticing right now that there's been a little bit more done to the base here now. We've managed to, uh, in between episodes, get a lot of this uh, sort of done up a bit nicer. And, uh, got all the outlines done and ready to go here to fit all of our glass in, except we've still run out of glass. Uh, as we can see, if we open up this melter, we're all out. We've only got five all clear glass blocks, so there's plenty of sand to be gathered here soon. Um, one thing you'll notice is I've seen there's a little weird texture glitch here with the glass panes, and uh, I don't know why that is, but oh well, that happens. But uh, I just like to say thanks for all the feedback on the last couple of episodes regarding the the series and whatnot. Um, it was good to see what you guys thought. I think uh, I've got a, definitely got enough feedback to uh, keep going with how we've been doing it. I think we're going to do a little bit more like what we did last episode. I'll cut out a lot of uh, the tedious stuff so we can fit a bit more in. Um, but I'll still record it in the background and uh, yeah, it all seems to work. So, first task for today is to gather a fair bit of sand. I'm going to go do a bit of adventuring here. I don't know exactly where I'm going to get it from. But, uh, I might just go to all of these little random pools throughout the place. Oh, oh. <laughs> and uh, go searching for it. I did read in one of the comments of the last episode that you can... Uh, do something like this. Hang on, let's put our clear glass back in. Can we remelt this? Yes, we can. Uh, let's swap these over. Apparently, you can pour the glass panes directly from the smeltery, so that's good to know. Um, so let's swap these over. See what that ends up doing. Hopefully, this will go pretty quickly here. I think another task for today is definitely get ourselves some decent tools, uh, so we can uh, and weapons, so that we can defend ourselves a little bit better. Seeing as we've got some decent armor now. How are we going? Not too bad. Now let me light this place up a little bit more as well. Just don't want anything spawning in here, just in case. While I'm not here. Let's go grab ourselves a bit more coal. Oops. Uh, looks like we're out of... Nope, definitely not out. Here we go. Couple of sticks. Stuff. Alright, let's... uh. Keep lighting this place up. I need to figure out a, a fancier way of lighting things up in here. I don't know if these corners are fully lit or not. Because uh, the F7 function doesn't quite work in this pack for some reason, but uh, yeah, that happens. Well, I'm going to keep working on that later. So you can see it's... Uh, wait, how's that working? Oh, well, it seems to uh, be working. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it pours it out and uh, it sets itself in the... The table there, and you can make clear glass panes. So I thought that was pretty neat, and uh, it's a pretty nice suggestion. So I'm gonna go ahead and go get ourselves a whole heap of sand here in a second, guys. Hopefully, I'll record it off camera. Uh, well, I'll record what I do just in case I die, so you guys can see it. Uh, but if not, I'll see you guys once I've gone and got a whole heap of sand. Okay, so I'm hoping that three stacks of sand is gonna be enough here. Uh, we'll see how we go, but uh, hmm. see, this is the one bad thing I hate about this door; it's so hard to get into, but gotta be safe than sorry. All right, let's chuck all of this in here, and then follow it up like so. And then I want to change these back over again. Not that it was doing a bad job, but uh, I want big glass blocks this time, because uh, we want to be able to fill the roof up. And you can't use panes uh, on a horizontal wall, so that's why uh, I'm going to change that back up. But uh, we're nearly at the point where we're pretty secure here. Um, it would be good to just finally get that little bit more peace of mind, even though uh, <laughs> I'm sure stuff is going to come and wreck our time anyway. Um, Alright, next thing that we're going to get started, I think we need to do a little bit of mining because I would like to get into thermal expansion. Now, if you guys haven't seen the updates to uh, that Wild has done with this pack, to even to get like your dynamos and stuff, you need crazy amounts of copper, and you need some electrum, which is made with uh, gold and silver, and uh, it, our, our smelter is being used currently, so I guess uh, while we're waiting for it to, to get all our glass done and whatever, um, we can always just go for a little bit of a mining trip, I'll record it again like usual, um, and do that. So I'm going to go and mine some stuff, luckily we've got a heap of obsidian because we need that to make a whole heap of alumite which is used in the machine frames. Um, so. That's something else. Ooh, string. How's our farm going? Let's check that out really quickly here. Oh, come on through the door. 
would be nice to uh, get this going a little quicker. Oh, you know one thing? Let's, uh, now that I've said that, let's uh, go ahead and make this a little bit quicker. I think I've got everything I need um, for that. So, um, one thing though, if we, if we go ahead and do this, we won't be able to farm it as quickly as we want, but that happens. Um, essence seeds, one, two, three, four. All right. So, if you guys haven't done this before, I'm, I'm sure you guys would have seen it many a times. I've done it in a, a few previous videos. Um, but we're going to make ourselves an open blocks tank. Um, we need some glass for that, though. Have I got any? Oh, just the right amount. Alright. So let's get some pains going. Sitting around the corners, you get two tanks for that, so that's good. And then we're also going to make ourselves a sprinkler. Now, the recipe for this has changed as well. Actually, I tell a lie, it hasn't, which is uh, good to know. How much iron? Oh, we might not have enough iron. That's a shame. Well, looks like uh, we're not going to be able to make this either. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to go and replant all of this stuff, and then uh, I'm going to go mining for a bit. And then when we come back, we'll keep working on, uh, on all that stuff. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so I've actually gone and done a fair bit of mining here. I did a, a little half an hour run here and got ourselves a nice lot of ore, except we're really low on copper and tin. Well, we got a little bit of tin, but not a whole amount. Uh, that's because the strip mine here is down at level 12 and copper and tin spawn a little bit higher, so we're going to have to mine somewhere else. Uh, but you can see that a lot of the roof here is done. Uh, I've gone ahead and put some of these cobblestone blocks in just to sort of reduce the required amount of... Uh, uh, glass and it is uh, pouring rain outside so not real keen on leaving the house just at the moment because there is lightning around and I don't want to get struck by lightning but we are out of um, lava here which is not good um, so yeah we can't actually smelt anything up at the moment but I don't want to go back to the overworld just in case uh, you know lightning strikes and we get hit uh, or anything like that just like how it struck over there <laughs> So, uh, yeah, uh, the roof's nearly done. There's this little strip here, and this whole room, and then we'll be done pretty much with the whole house, which is awesome. I don't know whether I'll keep this cobblestone like this colour. I might change it up to something a bit different. You never know. Uh, but we're getting plenty of clear glass, so I think when it stops raining, we're going to come back and go for a little trip to the overworld uh, to get ourselves a whole heap of lava. I'm going to use these tanks that we made a little bit earlier to uh, gather a whole heap to start off with anyway. And then uh, we'll have a little bit of a supply backed up. Uh, we'll see how we go. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back once the rain has stopped pouring down. So, somehow, an ender eye has managed to teleport its way into the base here. I don't know whether to take it on or not. Oh, this is risky as. Risky business, guys. Um, well, I think he's coming after me. Oh, he's gone. Uh-oh, this could be bad. This could be bad. Where did he go? Please don't come back. <laughs> Alright, I think we might be safe. But I'm just going to have to keep an ear out, just in case he does come back. Um, but we nearly finished the roof. Patching this last little bit up. And then, uh, as you can still tell, it is pouring rain. Just thought, well, may as well record with that little fella in our base. <laughs> awesome, seven blocks. Alright, if he comes back, I'll start recording again. Yay, it's finally stopped raining. Thank God. <laughs> it's been it's been pouring down for ages. All right, let's run back, see if we can get to the overworld here real quick before anything comes and gets us. Oh, there's a creep there. Going to have to definitely surround our house with a big wall or something to try and keep things out. Uh, definitely a project for down the track. Did we get another? Yes, we got an egg. Oh, oh, I couldn't do it. No, actually, before we go back, I want to make something really quickly here. Uh, I want to make a, a, a prayer to Clockington. Now, the way that those work... Oh, go away, creep. I mean, there we go. Um, the, the prayer to Clockington is another way to get your hearts back. Um, so we'll quickly make one of those before we head back to the overworld. I'll just have to smelt up a bit of... Um, oh, what do I look at? A bit of silver. Using just the normal smeltery. Alright, so, where's a bit of silver? We've got plenty of it, so I don't really mind wasting a bit. So let's chuck that in there for now. Uh, but we, what else you're going to need is a bit of paper, one egg, well, we've already got the egg, and two pieces of lapis. Oh, come on. 
Oops. Using the wrong button, that's probably why. So, uh, this should be smelted up. So, the way this works is, if you get yourself eight nuggets, surround it in an egg, you get a silver egg, and then if you place that, a piece of paper, and two lappies, you get a prayer to Cluckington. Now, you can only use one per day of these. I don't know how exactly it works here in the, uh, the Twilight Forest. I don't even know if it, you can actually use it. I don't want to try, though. Um, but we're going to go to the overworld and use it there. Now, this... There is another one, there's one called the Prayer to Notch. In before Creeper sneaks up on it. Yeah, Prayer to Notch, it's a little bit cheaper, uh, but it only gives you regen 1, whereas this one gives you regen 2. Um, and depending on when you use it, you're supposed to try and use it at high noon uh, during the day, and it'll last for different amounts of time depending on when you use it. So, we're going to give this a go in the overworld and see uh, if we can regen some hearts here. And uh, we'll also go ahead and fill up all our tanks of lava, so that we don't run out of that. Now, what we're going to try and aim for after we've done both of those is, I'm going to go ahead and smelt up all of those goodies um, that was that I showed you guys. Oh, the phone is ringing really quick. I'm going to have to pause this, and I'll be right back, guys. Oh, God! <laughs> well, that surprised me a little bit. Um... Okay, well, welcome back. <laughs> I had to uh, take that phone call really quickly. Wow, that scared me a little bit. Sorry about that for headphone users. I'll have to remind myself to edit that a little bit before before we go and uh, put that in the episode. <laughs> that was a surprise. What is the time? Oh, I don't have a bed either. Got to make sure that we do this relatively close to noon for the Predator Cluckington. And uh, come on, let's get up here. See if what time it is outside, hopefully. Yeah, it's pretty close. I can't exactly see where the sun is, so that's not a good thing. Oh, it's coming up. Awesome. So we have a little bit of time here. Uh, did I bring most of my tools? No, I didn't. That's alright. That's fine. We'll just wait a little bit here. But yeah, like I was saying, it works best at midday. Wow, there's been some destruction out here, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some more clay while we're just waiting around here. Or sand, for that matter. Um, while we're waiting for it to become close to midday. But yes, this is one of the uh, easier ways of getting your health back in this pack. These prayers to Clockington. Definitely used a lot of them in my uh, first world that I didn't record. How much sand are we getting here? Plenty. Alright, where are we? Sun should be coming up over the top of the mountain soon. Haven't run into any baddies just yet, so that's good. <laughs> Thought we'd come across some. Just collecting that sand. So yeah, like I was saying, once we've got all of this done and all of the lava picked up, we're going to, uh... Where are we? We're getting close. I haven't actually had gone for much of a look out here. That island looks deadly. And we're getting some trouble here with the chunks loading, but that happens. Alright, where are we? So normally the best way to do it is just look directly up and then you can see when it gets pretty close. You can activate your uh, Parade of Cluckington. Now the way you activate it is, you just hold down the right, the right mouse button. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> getting some of the, uh, the burps going on here. Um, but yeah, when, it's in, when you want to activate, you just hold down the right mouse button until... You'll see, but you hold it down until like this big, um, I don't know what you call it, it sc scrolls across, it's like a scroll opening, pretty much, so you'll see here in a second, not far away now, about to run out of durability on this, uh, this tool, we'll be right though, plenty of sand though, definitely one resource that we're short on, how are we, Ooh, we're getting close. Oh, we're nearly there, guys. We're nearly there. Oh, dang it. Out of durability. Oh, should be right. We've got plenty of sand now, anyway. All right, so, nearly there. Now, I think it's better. I'm not 100% sure, but I've always found it's better to activate it earlier rather than later. So, you want to activate it as close to the middle of the day as possible. So, we're going to just do it when the edge hits our cursor. Just going to check one last time for enemies. Come on, nearly there. 
Alright, so I'm going to hold the right click down, you can see the scroll opening here, doing all of its fancy colourful things, and then 7 seconds of regen 2, awesome, we're going to get nearly, oh, one more, one more, oh, up to set 9 hearts, thank gosh, Whew. so yeah, doing those are pretty uh, worthwhile if you do it earlier rather than later, definitely happy with that, nearly close to full health again, which is good, hopefully nothing spawned back here since uh, I've been away. Oh, we're looking fine. All right. Well, let's go get this. Uh, these buckets of lava. Is that clay? Might. Oh, we might repair here and get this clay, because there is a limited supply of that in the uh, Twilight Forest. Get this real quick. All right. Out of the water, please. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to collect this lava. You guys probably don't need to see it. It's pretty much exactly how I've done it in the past. But uh, when we come back, we'll be back in the Twilight Forest, and uh, we'll be starting to get some machines hopefully going. We'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in just a sec. All right, so we're back from our little overworld adventure here. Time to fill up our... Uh, hmm, I need a different bucket, don't I? Now let me just uh, put this down in here somewhere for now. Just temporarily. Um, we'll pull our tank back up here. I don't know whether or not I want to go through the rest of this sand. Oh, I may as well. Two, three, four. All right, we'll do the other side as well. One, two, three, one more, four. Awesome. All right, so how are we looking here with this? Most of this should be, yes, fully done. So, uh... How much sand is... Oh, let's get rid of that. And out of this. We don't need any more of this right now. <laughs> all right, let's get rid of that. Um, but what I want to do is quickly start processing all of these as well. Get them all smelted up and uh, casted. Now, before I do that, let's go ahead and make ourselves, like I said, copper and a bit of tin. I'm not going to be able to make many ingots of this, but uh, hopefully it'll be enough for uh, what I want to do here quickly at the moment. Um, but we need to make, I want to make ourselves, instead of using these seared faucets, I want to use uh, fluiducts. I think they're called, yes, fluiducts. I always get mixed up. It's either fluiducts or liquiducts. I think they used to be called liquiducts for uh, for one six. I think that's what they, the, the change came in. Uh, but these are made using lead and uh, a bit of bronze. So we're going to make ourselves a bit of bronze here. So uh, that's going to cook up. Now we don't have, quite have the right proportions here, but... Uh, Hopefully it'll be enough to get ourselves a little bit. So, since the tin is melted up, we should get enough for maybe three ingots, hopefully. So one to repair our pickaxe here, and uh, two to repair, well, to make our fluid ducts. If not, we'll just make the fluid duct. Oh, four ingots, awesome. That's what we like to see. Let's get these out real quick here. And then while all the other stuff is smelting, I might just go ahead and do some mining in that uh, hill over there, some strip mining there at Y level 40-ish to uh, get ourselves a bit more of that... Uh, what am I talking about here? A bit more just copper and tin in general. Um, so I'm going to swap these over again, like I said. And then chuck this one on there. You can get cast on top, get rid of the faucet. Have we got any lead just off the bat? Doesn't look like it. Oh, well, looks like we'll smelt a bit of this up real quick. Hopefully lead doesn't mix with either of those. I don't think it does. So, we'll see. You know what? I can just pour it straight out, can't I? Oh. Well, I could, but uh, <laughs> I need the force. I'm going to go ahead and automate this, guys. You guys probably don't need to see this. Uh, I'll go ahead and make it, and I'll be right back when I'm putting it all together. Alright, we got ourselves our fluid ducts, so let's go chuck one of them on here, like so. And then, oh, do we have a, I think we have a crescent hammer. Did we end up making one? I thought we did. Let's have a look. Maybe we didn't. Oh, well, looks like we're going to need to make one of those, so. To make one of these you need, oh, it looks like four tin and four iron. That's alright, we can handle that just. Smelt this up, and like before, I'll be right back. Alright, so hopefully now we've got everything we need, so... 
one tin gear, and then iron, 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 crescent hammer. Alright, now I can finally get this thing to work properly. <laughs> Break that off. So, on like so. I'm actually trying to drain the rest of this glass out really quickly here. Um, but you can turn this to eject, and we'll just whack a lever on it. And it should be, well, right now it's not going to do much. But if we take that out, it'll pretty much just do it for the for the glass panes here. Well, they're going to end up being glass panes, but oh well. We can end up using them in different spots, uh, but it'll all clear out eventually. Hopefully, anyway. Um, what have I got in terms of... We don't have any seared bricks, do we? Well, we got the, the full ones, but no, nah, she's alright. I'm just, I'm just thinking this is like the uh, logical process that I think through. Um, when I'm doing stuff. It's a bit random, but whatever. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a whole heap of these uh, ores and stuff here that don't mix together uh, in the alloy furnace. Uh, well, yeah, in the in the smeltery, sorry. And uh, I'm going to let them all start smelting. I'm going to go for a bit of a mining trip. I'll record it all just in case, although I don't think we'll die. Um, and when I come back, we'll get to hopefully start making our first sort of power gen, so that's pretty exciting. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Look at all of these goodies. I've come back from my mining trip here and uh, smelted everything up and we have a lot of supplies now which is awesome to see. So let's grab all of these out of here and start sorting them into their respective barrels. You can also see I've got some cobblestone in my inventory. That's because we ran out of space here but we're about to deal with that in a little bit here. So, hmm, I wonder if we've got enough barrels. Probably not by the look of this but uh, we'll figure it out. Oops, keep that locked. What else is left? Silver. What's in that one? Aluminium. Some of that already. Lead. Already got that. And silver. Look at that. Perfect. All right. So I think to round the episode out, we're going to make ourselves two steam dynamos uh, at least. And uh, you can see it requires a lot of copper. But we've got a lot of that already made. But one thing we're going to need is some electrum. Now, I haven't got any of that made. So I think we'll go ahead and make a bit of that. So we need nine... For one ingot, or no, for two ingots of electrum you need one gold and one silver. And we're going to just chuck these straight in like so. And let that uh, do its thing in here. But while we're waiting, let's go ahead and make the upgrade for our cobblestone chest here. So, if we look up Jabber, you can see the structural mark one oak wood planks upgrade. You just need some fences and some wood planks. Pretty straightforward really. So let's go ahead and do that. So four of them and... Go a whole heap of sticks here. So, um, fences. So we need four of those. I think I got this around the wrong way, actually, now that I think about it. Yep. Oh, well. Fix that up here. Do that. So then to apply this, you just shift right click it on the barrel. And uh, now we can go ahead and put an upgrade on it. So we're going to make this, uh, these two pistons and the better barrel in the middle to make a storage upgrade. So, we've already got the barrel, I'm pretty sure we had one left over. So we can go ahead and, whoops, didn't want any copper there. Let's make ourselves two pistons. Be pretty straightforward. The cobble, and then get rid of that, and then the barrel in the middle. Upgrade, awesome. So then, same thing, shift right click, and uh, that thing's now can contain 8,192 items. But that's good. We'll end up upgrading that thing a fair bit throughout the duration of this, I think. Um, but yeah, how is this going? Wait a second. Oh, it was draining it too quickly. No! It's annoying. Seven. How come there's nuggets? Oh, because there's stuff in it. Oh, that was a bit of a shame. Hmm. Well, we we'll have to break and replace this, I think. Well, we're going to end up with a bit of leftover Electrum for some reason, but uh, that's annoying. Okay. So I'm going to get a lot of it anyway, regardless, but still wasting it a little bit here, I think. Silver. Hmm. Where's the Electrum? Four ingots of Electrum still. So we need three... Oh, I don't even know what the nuggets required for that is. Oh, at least we're getting some Electrum. So we can start working on it, I guess, anyway. So, um, we want to make dynamos. 
So we're gonna need let's just grab a whole heap of copper. Um what else are we gonna need? Some electrum, some redstone. I'm guessing some iron. Let's so let's see what we can do here. So for the mint new Oh we also need invar, that's right. So that have we got? Grab some of that and we're gonna need some string. What if we need more? That's right. We'll figure this out. Alright, so for two of these we're gonna need oh some sticks. Where did I put them? Here they are. Grab a holy redstone. Alright, finally, let's do this. So, two of those. Then two of those. Oh, we're gonna need another one ingot of electrum here. Awesome. Plenty of electrum. Still wasting it a little bit though, that's annoying. I'm gonna need two of these. Two of these. And then that should be about it, I think. One, what are we missing here? Do I only make one? Oh, I only made two of these copper gears. Whoops. Get another one. Awesome. Two steam dynamos. How are we going here for time? I think we're about at the end of the episode, guys. Um, but in order to make these work, we need to make some, uh, some leadstone stuff. So we might quickly make that. Who knows? Oh, this might actually... Uh, okay, let's quickly do this. So we're going to need four glass. Let's see how quickly we can craft this up. Oh, if we don't have any glass, that'll... Oh. Let's just jam one of these in a furnace real quick. <laughs> Get this crafted. All right. So we're going to need... Four of them. What about for the energy cell? So, well, if that's the case, let's make our block of redstone. And then, what about this? So let's make our glass bit first. Our conduit. Like so. I wanted to get this power gen going before the end of this episode, guys, because I think it's going to be a pretty big milestone. That there, and then we just need three more bits of glass. Come on, glass, you can do it. Maybe, maybe we've got some line ready somewhere. Let me have another look. Hmm, maybe not. Well, we're nearly there. One more piece of glass. Awesome. Look at that. So, let's go ahead and set these up. Oh, actually, now we need to finish this off, actually, now that I think about it. Those. And then, yay, let's an energy cell. Awesome, so let's go get these set up. I think what we're going to do is we're going to have the energy cell here in the corner for now. This is just going to be temporary, but it'll be some sort of power. Let's chuck that there. Conduit can go though in those two spots. We'll clean this up. Uh, I'll probably clean it up between this episode and the next one. So I just want to get it going. So those there, and then to power these you need to fill them with water. Uh, so let's make a little infinite water source here. Run outside and grab another bucket real quick. I'm going to go way over time. That's alright, you guys always seem to enjoy it when I go over time, so. But uh, I think we've reached a bit of a milestone. Power gen. Ah, come on. I need to fix this door. Power gen in the world is a big feat, I'm not going to lie. So, uh. Right. Fill these with water. I think they hold four buckets each. Three, four, one, two. Nope, did I grab the wrong one? Yep. Three, four. So now if you look in the inventory, heaps of uh, water. So you chuck in a bit of coal. It's going to do its business. And there you go, power gen. So is this filling up? Yes, it is. Awesome. How much do these make? Oh, 80 per tick. Our energy conduit aren't going to be able to... Uh, maintain that we might even have to upgrade that at some stage here but at least we got power generating and we are way over time so if you've enjoyed this episode guys make sure you leave it a like down below and uh, comment any suggestions I always like to read the comments uh, you guys offer some good insights some of the time uh, and if you haven't already subscribed make sure you do so so you can keep up to date with this series it's been good for the channel you guys seem to be enjoying it so that's gonna do it thanks guys for tuning in and checking it out my name is Mr. Norsby I'll catch you next time